So I'm about to put as much time and effort in making this video the same amount that Sony put in making Madam Web. Absolutely nothing. This is a movie that came out uh, a while ago. Uh, I, I, I've been putting off this review, I guess, if you want to call it. It's probably just going to be me talking aimlessly about it uh, and my uh, horrible experience watching this strange movie. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, I was trying to avoid this for a while to not give out spoilers, but let's be honest, who gives a crud? No, no one cares about spoilers for this movie. It's uh, The thing is, you hear about bad movies, and I tend to think, oh, it's overblown out of proportion. It can't be that bad. It, it, it's real bad. It, it, it released on Valentine's Day, and I can assure you, if you took your date to watch this, they have every right to just leave you on the spot. If they ghost you, you deserve it. This is not the movie to spend Valentine's Day with. It calls itself a superhero movie. The, <laughs> the whole superhero concept doesn't even show up uh, maybe like the last two minutes at the end or something like that. And even so, um, the entire movie is just, it's, it's just gibberish. It, it just, it, it seems like they just put a bunch of post-it notes together and started doing scenes like that. I, I don't understand the thought process of anything of what they were doing. Madam Web is a character who's from the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, I think. I remember like seeing that and um, yeah, that's all I know about her. She's this old lady who gives Spider-Man some, you know, mystic wisdom about the Spider-Verse and whatnot. That's it. I don't think she needed an origin story. If she did, but it's as sure as hell ain't this. So spoilers uh, be damned. Well, I'm gonna be honest, it's been a while. I don't even remember what I watched. There, there's this Ezekiel guy, he's been hunting them or whatnot uh, because he, th these three women will become spider women in the future and beat him up. I, I don't get the whole concept at all. Uh, it's pretty generic, yeah. Um, Uncle Ben's in this. For, for some reason, they wanted to shoe in a Peter Parker story without even saying Peter Parker. It's heavily implied because they can't use the name drop. It's all in all, people have been calling this like a CW show made into a movie. That's an insult to CW shows. At least Flash and The Arrow were good, the first initial seasons. This just is bad all around. It, 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 it just... It's like a fish flopping out on the land, you know? It's not doing anything, It's and it's sad to see. You just want to put it back in the water. This should have been back into, like, the development stage, and it never should not have been finalized. And the actors, bless their hearts, it looks like they've been drugged and taken on set to perform. One of them even thought they were in an actual Marvel movie. It's exciting thing about joining the MCU with Madam Web but I can't talk about it. <laughs> Is that exciting? I feel like that's hard. It's so hard because I talk so much. How do I tell you this? Um, it's a Sony Marvel movie, so... I, I know people like to say Marvel movies these days aren't that great, but it's not Sony levels yet. Hopefully it never gets there, but thankfully it's... Uh, mm. It, it, it's unfortunate and then the fact that they're gonna do Craven, Black Cat, Silver Sable, that, that's what they got lined up. I feel like Sony really should just focus on the Spider-Verse movies because that's making good money. Not interfere with it, let them do their thing and maybe get a good script for Andrew Garfield. He wants to do it, everyone wants to see a conclusion to his story. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, these guys really fumbled the bag super hard it's at this point very pathetic to watch them and i say pathetic because they even reused shots from their previous movies case in point with madam webb and uh, a scene from the original raimi spider-man standing up for what you believe Yeah, that building shot's the exact same. They they literally went back and took that. And then the fact is the main theme of Madam Web sounds awfully similar to the PlayStation version of the Spider-Man games.
pack your things. Get out of my building. I was just You're fired! So yeah, as you could see, um, it's garbage all around, but it's recyclable garbage because it, all it does is recycle from other good Spider-Man media. <sighs> the concept of the entire movie is just... I, I really don't think this needed it. Also, I feel bad for Dakota Johnson because uh, she thought she was going to be in a good Marvel movie. Yeah, she fired her agent after this released, and she did look like she was being held at gunpoint whenever she was trying to advertise this movie. While my character in the movie may be able to see the future, I also can. And I know what the future brings. I know that when you see Madam Web, you're going to love it. In fact, I think you're gonna see it twice. She's never talking to Sony after this, but at least her next movie looks good and you know, she could work, uh, you know, good, get a good acting gig from that. Just insane that this is the day and age we live in where we have to watch stuff like this get regurgitated. I, again, don't know what they're gonna do with Craven and all. Why make a Spider-Man cinematic universe with no Spider-Man? Like, is there really a point? Does this lead anywhere? Who wants this? But yeah, if you're a movie maker, indie movie maker, or a script writer in the making, whatever, take this as inspiration. You are gonna go places. If Sony can make trash like this, it, the, the sky's the limit for anyone. Don't give up on your dreams. Keep pushing it. It's, and, and the thing is, um, no one even is gonna remember Madam Web. Morbius, I can't believe I'm saying this, it was at least funny bad you know and uh the memes did help it but no memes gonna help this and that's the problem madam web is just forgettable in every sense of the way uh, like i keep rewinding the like the final scene of the movie where she becomes blind i don't even remember how she got blind it was like some sort of rock that fell on her face or something like it's I don't know, it, it makes me mad that I actually spent money. Why did I spend money on this? Why did I make a review on this? Why why do I acknowledge the existence? I'm after after making this video, I'm just gonna boop get this out of my head forever. Cause um this ain't a movie. This this has to be some sort of money laundering scheme by Sony. There, there's no way you could sit me down and tell me Sony thought there was an audience for this. There is probably some ways to spin a Madam Web solo movie. It's just this is not it. I, I would say the best way to do a Madam Web story would be something with Spider-Verse. Maybe what's happened in Spider-Man uh, No Way Home and the whole Spider-Verse, they could have done that. Then Madam Web is looking into all this. She didn't need an or origin story, just make her already Madam Web and make her like uh, trying to figure out what's happening in the multiverse of Spider-Man. And you could have her hop between dimensions uh, as uh, like some sort of detective case or fixing holes, just like how Miguel O'Hara is doing in the Across the Spider-Verse. That would have been interesting. That would have been way more interesting than what we got. And the other thing is Ezekiel, uh, the, the villain in Madam Web, he was never a villain in the comics. The, the comic maker of Ezekiel was stunned when he saw him in the trailer when it first came out. He's like, that's not the Ezekiel I wrote. Don't know what they're doing with him here. He's he's nowhere like this. In fact, if I remember correctly, uh, maybe can, someone can fix me up in the comments about what I'm about to say. But I, I assume based on what I read on Wikipedia and just past experience of comics, Ezekiel is a pretty chill Spider-Man. He was never a villain from what I read. Just a very chill old dude vibing with Peter Parker. Here he's just deranged, trying to murder teenagers who might end up becoming spider women in the future and the spider women themselves they based it on on iconic spider women in the spider-man mythos um it's just sad this is how they get their first adaptation in live action yeah i would have liked it better uh if they <laughs> did not do that at least silk didn't get the treatment i guess but I don't know how they'll, uh, I don't, I hope they never touch Silk because uh, the comics were kind of bad with their introduction. Can't imagine what Sony would do. <laughs> Ooh. 
but yeah, that that's as much effort I'm gonna put into this. Um, Madam Web, uh, I wouldn't watch this even if it was in a bargain bin. Well, I already watched it, but I'm I'm telling you, just don't. It's not even haha funny, like something you could pop in and just laugh at while you go on through your day. It's depressingly like it, it's a cure to insomnia, I would say. So if you're ever having issues falling asleep, put this baby in and you'll be asleep in no time. And yeah, that's all there is. <laughs>